Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. So glad to see you. So glad to have you be a part of the viewership of Magic Orthodoxy. Not familiar with Magic Orthodoxy? That's okay. What I do is I review the latest and the greatest magic tricks. Today I got a stage effect for you, parlor and stage, from George Inglesias and Twister Magic. This is airplane mode. All right, airplane mode, what is this? Uh, this is a stage routine, parlor routine. And uh, one of the things we look for in stage routines, parlor routines, is something that's got a story that could take like a block of time, you know? Something that's long, something extended, something that'll take up stage time and also be fun, filled with laughs, have lots of little hits or lots of little revelations along the way, and something that's easy something that you don't have to do a lot of slights with, something that's gonna be complicated that you'll trip up, things you'll need to remember. This hits all those buttons. Hits all of them. Everything I just said is true. It's gonna take a nice amount of time. You'll be able to layer in some story, smear in some jokes here and there. Uh, it's got all these kinds of really beautiful little kickers, a little uh, revelations that happen, and it's super, super easy. Let's talk about it. All right, airplane mode. Like I said, parlor or stage, probably best in a venue that serves alcohol or where your people are drinking alcohol. And I'll tell you why at the end. You invite someone up on stage, let's say it's a gentleman, probably work, might work best for a gentleman, and uh, say, hey, we're gonna send you on a trip, okay? We're gonna send you on a trip. It could, it's a magical trip somewhere in the world. Do you believe in destiny, do you? Do you believe in destiny? And you show them a series of boarding passes, several different boarding passes. They're able to look through them See that the destinations, the airport, and the seat number are all different, right? All different. They select a boarding pass from the center and they are told to memorize their seat number and where they are going. Now they could keep it in their hands if, they're, if that's too much to remember, right? But they could, they could keep it if they wanted to. But should remember uh, their airport, like where they're going, and their seat number. You say, okay. And then you just walk them through the trip. They uh, sit down in a chair that you've got on the stage and they're gonna pretend that they're sitting in their seat. And then you hand them the uh, emergency pamphlet. You know, the emergency booklet that we're all supposed to read. It tells you where the emergency exits are and what to do in case of a crash landing. You show that to them and you talk and joke about, you know, who reads these and, you know, if you've ever read it. And can you take a chance just to look through it and just casually glance through it? And they do. You then say, well, probably the first thing you want is a drink, right? You want a drink. And so you show a list of 30 or so drinks that are available, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. You then walk that list down into the, the audience and you have random people just look at drinks and just tell you what their favorite drinks are. You then come back up on the stage and you have your audience member select one drink that they would like to drink. And you say, you know what, what, what is it? What do they want to drink? And they say, Scotch. You say, ah, Scotch. Well, this is an economy flight. And you reveal a container of orange juice 
that has been sitting under a paper bag the entire time and everybody laughs while they're, they're only getting orange juice. Then you walk them over to maybe a movie they would like to watch. They have a little movie magazine. You show the magazine, every single movie is different. You have them select one movie, they get it in their mind. Let's say it's Indiana Jones, right? Temple of Doom. And from there, you then mentally divine some things about their movie, the actor, setting, whatnot, right? And you reveal Indiana Jones. But then there, you say, but wait, there's more. And you bring back out the emergency card and you show them that their seat number was on the very first page that they looked at, but they missed it. And right over here, across the top, the letters spell out the airport that they were leaving from. The people on the emergency card are actually watching Indiana Jones in that little brochure. And then as an extra kicker, you open the entire brochure up and there's a huge poster that everyone can see and it displays their seat number, the destination they're going to, and Indiana Jones, the movie they are watching. They think it's over, they think it's over. They're getting up, you're shaking their hands, they're gonna go back and sit down and you say, but wait, you know what? I got your drink item wrong. You lift the orange juice container up and underneath that is a glass of scotch that you hand to them as they walk to their seat. If you pay your $70 to your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer, you will get everything you need for this trick. You're gonna get the emergency card with all the built-in reveals. You'll get the orange juice container. You'll get the forcing boarding passes. You'll get the airplane magazine. And you'll get the drink list. Is it what I thought? Um, yeah, it's what I thought. I mean, it looks just like magician's insurance, right? The old magician insurance gag. And that was a simple, simple thing, right? You'd come out with like a one-way force deck. <laughs> They'd select eight of clubs and then you'd open the magician's insurance and it would be the eight of clubs, right? And this was George Inglacia's way of taking that kind of outdated trick and redressing it into something that we can all recognize. How are the angles and can it be inspected? Uh, it's a stage trick right? It's a stage trick. There's no bad angles to this. There really aren't. There's like one thing that you could maybe flash, but George talks about how to get around that. No one's going to ask to inspect everything. And plus the fact that you give them the items at the beginning to inspect, but at that moment, they don't know what they're looking for. So at the end, they'll see all the revelations. So there's nothing really to inspect afterwards. Plus nobody asks to inspect stage props. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, it's filmed like other Twister Magic videos. George is in a red jacket. He's in a room full of vintage magic posters. He's going to walk you through the intro, the history of the effect, how he was inspired by it. He's going to cover what's in the box, and then he's going to walk you through the entire routine step by step. It's only 35 minutes long, and so really that just takes up the entire bulk of the time. Is it well made? It is very well made. High end, uh, just beautifully hard laminated uh, materials. Everything in it looks exactly like it should. All well designed. Uh, it'll pass inspection. It's going to look like uh, you're, you, it is what it is. Everything will look like exactly what it is. Um, take care of it. It should last you forever. How much practice does it require? Uh, like I said at the beginning, it's so super simple. So super simple. Nothing nothing hard to practice. It's all forces that are super easy. Nothing to memorize right? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's self working. Set up and reset. Uh, you'll need a couple extra things that probably aren't included because it's a stage trick. They're going to sit on a chair. You'll need a chair <laughs> and it'd probably be best if you had all these items on a table. So if you had like a little stage magician's table to put everything on, that would work too. Uh, you'll need the glass that you're going to hand the spectator at the end. They're probably going to keep it. So glass tumbler with some whiskey inside. If you don't want to use whiskey, you could use a drink that looks like whiskey, like iced tea. And you'll need a paper lunch sandwich bag that'll cover the orange juice shell. Positives. All right, so what are the positives? Airplane mode is a super enjoyable routine, perfect for stage or parlor filled with revelations, laughter, magic. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? Uh, the video was only 35 minutes long. Normally that's fine but the video was an entirely explanation. You never really see the entire trick played out from beginning to end, especially with uh, a, a real spectator in a real situation. It would have been fantastic to see this, you know, on stage with a crowd, probably, you know, wasn't an option. Um, and it's not a negative so much because now you get to create your own, right? You'll create your own routine. It'll have your own jokes. And, and that's what I would do. I would fill this with jokes, 
fill this with one-liners. Don't do it just straight through with a bunch of revelations. Really milk this. Milk every single revelation. I would make it a standalone set. Get an outfit that looks exactly like uh, an airline steward, right? Dress the part. Learn some of those lines. Learn some of those jokes that we you know, always tell about getting on an airplane and boarding an airplane. Learn to point like an air steward. <laughs> uh, you could have music in the background of uh, uh, sound effects of like a plane taking off and the pilot speaking into the microphone. You could do a whole little routine like this. I think it'd be, it'd be beautiful and very, very memorable, right? People would say, hey, do you remember that magician that did the whole airplane skit? I really believe that with these props and your personality added to it, this could really be something beautiful. Is it worth your money? It is $70, 70 bucks. And like I've said before on this channel, you know, you pay more for stage effects. You just really do. Uh, and if you're gonna do this for a big event, large event, you're probably being paid for this. You'll probably do this more than once. And so it's gonna pay you back uh, over time for sure. Plus think about all the props you're getting. You're getting the emergency card. You're getting the orange juice shell container. You're getting the drink list. You're getting the uh, boarding passes and you're getting the movie uh, booklet. Uh, you're getting everything you need to do this effect. I mean, Twister Magic has really gone above and beyond here. Who would like this? This is a beautiful commercial prop, perfect for parlor magic and stage magic. That's everything I can say about airplane mode, George and Glacius, Twister Magic. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it wherever quality Murphy's Magic products are sold. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.